Hey guys, welcome to Taco Bell. I mean, how show. can we customize your meat, cheese, and tortilla? Anyway, so oh, back speaking of Taco Bell, this is probably the weird question of the month. Essentially, what do you guys uh, get? For like that, mine is always meat and cheese, and I usually just take off most of the other junk because I'm not a fan of sour cream at all. And the lettuce, I don't mind lettuce, but I rather just not have it to begin with on it. I mean, if it has lettuce on it, I'll eat it. Me, yeah. I'll eat, I'll eat it, but I personally don't like the rice that they use. The rice, I don't mind. But um, as we were saying last time on Sideshow, uh. Well, I guess I was saying. So, I don't get why Daryl Dixon is such a popular character. Especially since Norman Reedus, the actor, played the character a hell of a lot more badass already. Let's not promise, Cannon Virus. You know. Okay. This uh, is ridiculous. I can't see at all. Go straight. That's a wall. Okay, no. There, go. Yeah, there. See? You're welcome. Anyways, as I was saying, the much more badass character he played is Murphy McManus from the Boondock Saints. I mean, you honestly can't get better than that, you know? Pretty much. He was an utter badass and actually made, well, let's face it, religion look cool. And you know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? With the whole prayer, the equators, the veritas. It was mainly more of a uh, symbology more than a religion. Yeah, but, but uh, hey, look, a dark key. Can I get to it from here? I find it funny I'm able to see better when I'm in the morph ball because I got the whole thing going on there. Collection mutated inworms. I don't see the bridge. Yeah, but scan. Uh, They're really quiet episodes. And then because we're focused on collection hunt, well, I'm focused on collection hunt. You're just sitting here watching me as usual. Yeah. Mostly because you seem to have a thing about not letting me take over for games. <laughs> well, no, you haven't really mentioned wanting to. You said. You said let me do Taurus Bog, I'm like, oh, I could find out where I need to go, etc. But that was about it. Did I go in there? Or... Let's see, what are you? Okay, that's really convenient, I needed that. You know what's funny? Oh. These ammo stations are more prevalent than the missile stations. The ammo stations fill up your missiles too. No, I mean, uh, compared to time. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was like, what, three missile? There wasn't a lot at all, it was just like, four. And you had to go through, halfway through the map to get it. It's easier just sitting there blowing crap up and getting it that way. Yeah. It's just, hey, I got it. I'm blowing stuff up. Instead of... Hey, let's sit here and look for one room. Take me half an hour to get to it. I'll end up probably using three or four of them on the way back. Which then you'll have to get back anyway, and then whatever. It's like, uh... Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going the wrong way here. I wanna know. Well, I don't think I could do anything in this room whatsoever, but I'm gonna take a look around. So you got a secret door there. And we got that. Yeah, I think this is a complete waste of time being in this room. So, let's go back. That was cut short. Okay, so ow. Ow. What it? Did 
back. Weird. Okay, so what can I do with this other than... Oh, other than... Other than watch it spin and knock me off again. Okay, go up here. Go in there. Go in through here. Oh, it did a ton of like this. Just double jump that? Then do stuff like this. Can I double jump this? Okay. Never mind. I can double jump. I want that. Let me guess. Save station. I kind of figured because the boss door is right over here. So. Energy before we replenish. Metroid Prime 2, the quiet edition. Metroid Prime 2. How do I get up there? That takes a shit. It oh, takes a shit time. Throwing edition. I'm not kill these things. They're really annoying. Slugs burnt. Oh. Um. Oh. What? Go. That was annoying. Can't double jump that. It's over there. Worms. Oh, I'm getting the gravel beams in apparently. Because I think so. Ah. I always hate being lost in these games because I just sit here and I'm like, where am I going? Yeah, I think you need to learn to, uh... And it's funny too because it's not like one of those things where if I don't pay attention I don't know where to go. This is legitimately being lost. Really? Yeah, because these games are more exploration instead of go here. Yeah. You have to figure out where to go. I swear to God, there's a way to get out there, but you... I need the grapple beam. Ah. So I need to find where to get the grapple beam. From the grapple guardian. Duh. I need to find out where to get that. Can you get to the underground thing? The... What? The underground thing. I'm You're really to, gonna call it that? I'm trying to think of a word to go with it. Um, complex. There you go. Can you get I into can, the... I, I still have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll see what I can uh, do. Go on the map. Yeah, I... Oh. Oh, okay. I think I remember what you're talking about. Just that, that sounded creepy how I said that, so I'm not gonna do it that way again. I'm like, oh, oh my! Everyone, Brian Lee just came out of the closet. No, I just channeled George Decay. Decay. What I, I just said, kick it. I said Decay. Okay, let's see. That giant underground lair right there. I need to figure out how to get. Alright. Hooray for backtracking. I think the only good thing about this is, uh, it's more of a legitimate playthrough, like a blind run, really, than yeah. it is a, uh, hey, let's watch this person play the game knowing exactly where to go every time. You mean I I mean, I mean yeah, it's fun. You mean IQ and Metroid Prime? Yeah. It's fun, kinda. But it's just gonna be funny when, you know... If we... When we I think, uh, other... Not other. I think, uh, Prime 3 is more, uh, linear. More to go. Because you go to this planet, do this. Go to this planet, do this. And this one, you're like, okay, I just did something in Torvus Bog. Now I need to go over to the Agon Waste, or I need to go over here. I need to go over here. It's all over the place. 
And then other M infusion is like, oh hey, I know exactly where I need to go. See, that is a secret door. No. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I think I can. In here. Well, let's just go through here because I haven't. What do we got going on? We have a dead body. Another dead body. A red scan thing. Uh, An elevator platform. And here we go. Hmm. I'm in on the underground fortress. Fun. Alright, so let's see. Okay, we got all the pirate stuff. Those aren't related to space pirates? Alright. Uh, oh. I was gonna guess, but the map told me so. I was gonna guess save station because it was a missile door and it was like right there. The game is draining on the mind at times. You're like, uh, what do I do? Yeah. What do I do? Where do I go? What do I do now? <laughs> this game doesn't explain things. Yeah, it does if you pay attention. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was making a joke, and the game actually said, hey, go here. <laughs> that is hilarious. He's like, this game doesn't explain things. Go here. Can I continue here, or do I need to go up there? I guess I should go up there. This game doesn't explain! Where's this go? Does this go back up? Alright. Well, since this is gonna be quite the trip getting back, I'm gonna say next time on Sideshow, we'll meet you guys there. Because fuck you, that's why. Well, because I don't wanna sit here and have another backtracking for 15 minutes episode. Oh boy!